Hi, this is Bryn Antrim, and today we're doing a database tour of the ERIC database um, for educational research. The way we get there from the college homepage, click on Menu, and then click on the plus sign next to Student Support, scroll down the submenu, and find Library between Counseling and Tutoring. Once there, please notice the Ask a Librarian button. This is 24-7 Reference Chat. If you have any sort of difficulties in your research, you can always reach out to us 24-7 via chat and we will help you. Heading into Databases. If you know um, the name of your database, you can search through all databases, alphabetically by title, um, or you can head down and take a look at the various subcategories. These don't contain all of the databases, but they do contain the databases that are specific to that topic and additional databases that are useful if not specifically on that topic. So I'm going to go into social issues because I'm interested in the effects of social isolation on child development. As I scroll through here, I notice that there are multiple different perspectives but what I'm really interested in is the Educational Resource Information Center. So I go into here because I'm interested in educational and education related journals. If you're not currently logged in, it may request that you do so with your Canvas login. And then I type in my terms. spell it right. And I make sure that it says full text so that I actually get the article, not just the um, information about the article. I search that out and I come up with 72 articles. Most of them are in academic journals. Some of them are reports or periodicals. Most of them will be academic journals because social isolation is an academic term. But I can still go down here and I can say what I really want is I want scholarly journal or peer-reviewed articles. And I'd like them to be current. So I'm going to scroll this up to about the last five years. That takes me down to only 10. So I might want to open it up a little bit. I can always change any of these limiters at any time. So once I find one that looks interesting, I click on the title. It brings up the article and I have a number of options at this point. I can save it to my Google Drive, I can print it, email it, cite it. When I look at the page, I find information about the article, including various descriptors. If I click on one of these descriptors, it will research the entire database and bring back everything in the database on that topic. Then it will show me an abstract, which is a short description of what's in this article. This is a research study, so it's primary research. Over here on the left is the actual article in PDF. Also in HTML, but I recommend the PDF because that will include any graphs or images. If I like it, I can email it to myself. I tell it to send it to me. I give it some sort of a subject. I don't want the HTML, so I leave only the PDF. And I choose a citation format. In this case, probably APA, because I'm looking at psychology. If it were an English class, I might use MLA. I don't send it in plain text format, and I send it off. When I get my email, everything that's on this page will be in it, the PDF will be attached to it, and the robot's attempt at a citation will also be included in it. When you cite, please be aware that they may not be completely correct. So after you copy and paste it, fix it based on the template that your instructor gives you. Once you're done with this particular article, you can go back to your result list and find more. There are other things that are specific to this database that are very useful. For example, a variety of indexes. 
You can browse a specific index, and I'm going to pick, in this case, Law, Policy, and Program. If you don't have a particular topic in mind, say you need a court case, for example, you can browse it, and it will bring them all up. I'm going to take a look at, hmm, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009. When I click on that, I don't have to, have to actually add that to anything. I can just search for that. And it will bring up everything on this specific law. So that's another way that you can use the tools of the database to find more information. Finally, if you're not getting very much, um, very good results with the searches that you're using, you can check the thesaurus. And it will tell you if, for example, I'm using the term abnormal psychology, this database uses the term psychopathology for that. So this will tell you the, the words that the database uses, which may not necessarily be the same as your search terms. So that's another way to make your search more specific and on target. If you have any questions, please use the Ask a Librarian button on the library homepage. Good luck with your search and be well.